Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to deploy your website onto GoDaddy. Now be warned, it can be a bit long and technical. That's why I normally use tiny.host for their drag and drop simplicity, but I'll show you GoDaddy first and then Tiny so that you can see the difference. So I've just logged into GoDaddy now and I've purchased their $10 a month web hosting plan. You're gonna need that if you wanna follow along, but if you're looking for something free, tiny.host has that available and you can skip ahead to the end. So I'm gonna scroll down to the web hosting section, open it up and then click manage on the right over here. What this is gonna bring up eventually is basically our first URL. So you can see it's this temporary URL. We could import one of our GoDaddy domains, but I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. I'm gonna go over to the right to cPanel admin and then click that. This will open up this admin dashboard. So there's a web applications section if you have something complicated like a WordPress website that you wanna host, but I just have a simple HTML and JavaScript website. So I'm gonna scroll down and click this file manager here. Now, what we need to do is click the www and then you wanna start importing your files into this section. So let's go to my files and, well actually first, we have to click the upload button. Again, it can get a bit technical here. And then what we can do is now we can drag and drop our files. Now GoDaddy has a bit of a feature where you can't just drag in folders or zip files. So we're actually gonna to have to manually create the folders. So the structure, for this calculator that I'm uploading is there's a brain folder and then inside the brain folder there's a CSS folder let's click that a JavaScript folder JS and an images folder image now what I've got to do is go into all these click upload and then find the specific one and drag it in so again it's a bit technical You'll see how much quicker tiny.host is at the end, but let's just get all this done. So now I've got to do the JavaScript one. Let's drag that in. Sorry, you got to click upload first. Then we drag it in. Wait for that to load. And now finally, let's go for the image one. Get that image. Drag it in there. You can see I always forget. This is, um, always forget to click that first. But now we should have everything ready to go. So let's go back. Let's actually go straight back to where we said the URL is. And let's go check out if our website is live now. Let's post that in. And now you can see here's the calculator. So it's working great. All the JavaScript, all the CSS was uploaded successfully. And that is how you upload your website to GoDaddy. Now I'll show you how to upload your website to tiny.host and you'll be amazed at just how much quicker and easier it is to do. So this is their dashboard. I'm gonna click upload. Now you can upload a HTML, PDF, a zip file, or what's new to Tiny is a PHP file, but I'm gonna use a zip file. So I'm gonna open up Finder, drag all the files I need and click compress. Then with this archive.zip, I'm gonna drag it into the upload section. Now I can use a link name instead of just like a random name like we got from GoDaddy. So I'm gonna say my calculator. I could also use a custom domain, but I'm not gonna do that here. Let's just click publish. And you're gonna see this is super quick, only takes like a second, here we go. I can click the calculator link and there it is. It's that quick, it's that simple with Tiny. That's how you upload your website to their platform. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more tips from us, please remember to like and subscribe. With that all said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.